Today, we're beginning across the northern border in Canada, where a truck convoy is blocking the busiest entry point between the U.S. and Canada in protest of COVID restrictions. That group also blocking major roadways in the nation's capital of Ottawa. And that's where News Nation anchor Rudabe Shabazi is live for us. So, Rudabe, tell us how are police there responding? Well, Nicole, this is what it looks like. This is the capital city of Canada, and it is complete gridlock around the downtown area. The truckers have been here for days, and just uh, recently, for most of the time they were here, there were horns blaring pretty much 24-7. So you can imagine being someone who lives here or works here. That was recently shut down by an injunction by a judge, so now it is quieter. It's just the, the hum of the engines and a lot of people uh, up near the Parliament building. But that main news, what you touched on the border between Detroit and Windsor shut down by those truckers that is the busiest port of entry the busiest land crossing in North America 40,000 people a day 323 million dollars worth of goods shut down <laughs> and defiant noise that invaded people's lives, finally silenced by a court order. 12 days into the self-proclaimed Freedom Convoy protest paralyzing Canada's capital city of Ottawa. Our government's out of control and, uh, and we're hoping that, uh, well, we're already seeing some of the changes, but we're hoping that uh, we could fix some of the issues that are going on that are hurting people all over the country. Protests now also popping up in other provinces across the country, shutting down North America's largest border crossing between Windsor and Detroit, with the effects sure to be felt south of the border. It will cause delays will cause rerouting, will cause people to fly things if they're desperate. The caravan started in British Columbia, protesting the vaccine mandate for drivers entering Canada from the U.S., but evolving into widespread expressions of discontent over mask mandates, shutdowns, and Justin Trudeau's leadership. These protesters say they want their liberty back. One driver telling Morning in America... This is epic for us. We're having the time of our life as we're protesting. This is unbelievably peaceful and we, we are uh, we're here to stay the mandates and the lockdowns have been bad for society when they go we go those who are trying to live and work here say this chaos has robbed them of their liberty and peace it's horrible the noise pollution the air pollution is inconvenient not being able to get out of the house even the pets are suffering. And I'm old, I rely on my friends to sometimes visit me or bring me food. That's how I got out this morning to get to some shopping. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, now out of a week of isolation with COVID, today tweeting, quote, Canadians have the right to protest, to disagree with their government, and to make their voices heard. We'll always protect that right, but let's be clear, they don't have the right to blockade our economy, our democracy, or our fellow citizens' daily lives. It has to stop. And you're taking a live look at that bridge. It did just reopen hours ago, but there are more plans for protests in the area. And back here in Ottawa, that bridge actually, a fun, uh, an interesting fact is that that bridge is privately owned. And the owner of that bridge actually tweeted out, we respect truckers, we appreciate all of the crucial and important work that they do, but not at the cost of lives and livelihoods. Nicole? Right, Rudabe Shabazi across the border for us in Canada. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.